They, they, and of course, for those reasons and so many more, there were strong words from President Bush today after being briefed by Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, who returned from the region to Crawford. The president warned Russia the two breakaway regions will remain part of Georgia, saying there's no room for debate on that matter. The president, speaking from his ranch in Crawford, saying Moscow needs to honor the ceasefire and withdraw all of its forces from Georgia. Wendell Gohler is live outside the president's ranch in Crawford. Wendell, so when the president got briefed, he came out and gave this very stern warning. Does he believe that Russia is listening? Well, the president says he wants to rally the free world in support of a free Georgia. He wants to keep the world's attention focused on the situation there to keep Russia from using the facts on the ground, if you will, its current control of South Ossetia and Abkhazia to eventually incorporate those two breakaway provinces or to demand independence for them. Uh, Russia's foreign minister says they will never again be part of Georgia. The president reminded Russia today that it has signed international agreements that confirm they are in fact a part of Georgia. Jamie? Wendell, after you heard Secretary Gates this week say that there could be lasting repercussions with U.S.-Russian relations as a result of what transpired over this last week, what sense did you get from what the president said about how optimistic he is that things can be worked out between the two superpowers? Well, the president says there has been progress. Uh, he thanked the Russian President Medvedev for uh, signing the ceasefire agreement, though there is more work to be done on that score. The agreement that Medvedev signed, the first one worked out by French President Sarkozy, actually gives Russian forces uh, uh, the ability to conduct peacekeeping patrols inside Georgia, outside the breakaway provinces. That is considered a loophole now, and uh, French President Sarkozy is said to be headed back to Moscow probably next week with an amended version of that agreement uh, to be signed. But, uh, of course, the U.S.-Poland deal to station interceptor missiles uh, in Poland and a Patriot missile battery to guard them has put tremendous strains now on the U.S.-Russian relationship, Jamie. All right, the question is what really will happen with those troops on the ground. Wendell, thank you so much. We're going to talk a lot more about the situation in Georgia, about the people who were displaced and about what happens next where U.S.-Russia relations are concerned. Wendell Goler, live at Crawford. Thank you.